I, re I realize you've probably said all you feel like saying about Cam's situation, but uh, have you talked with Coach Mullen and are you satisfied from conversations with him if you've had them, that, you know, where things are with that whole deal? You know, guys, I know you got a job to do, and I respect that. You know, but my job right now is Georgia and this weekend. So really and truly, you know, as I said before, uh, you know, I'll entertain questions that have to do with that because uh, that's really where my focus is. So I'm going to stay on that, on that path. You know, I'm going to be real honest, and I, and I don't think I'm giving a cliche. I can't tell you that, that, that a distraction, if it is, it hadn't showed up out there. Because from the time we start stretch with, you know, T-Bell hollering uh-oh to, uh, you know, the music playing and Coach Yaks getting on him about not stretching the way he wants him to, to the last whistle blows. I think Yaks just picks somebody out every day and says, you're not stretching hard enough just so he can drive somebody. But it really hasn't changed. And, and you know, guys were cutting up and, you know, and then once the whistle blow, they went to work and uh, we had fun. So, you know, I, I don't want to act like we're living under the rock, but it, I haven't seen a distraction as far as the way the guys work or guys coming up to me asking me questions. And they've just been, you know, like Coach Rock said, they've just been forging ahead. And that's the one thing I, I love about Coach Chizik is he don't pull any punches. You know, you think he's kidding when he said he told Nick Ferry that wasn't good enough. He didn't just tell Nick, he told him in front of the whole team. So it wasn't good enough, so he don't just get you. He gets you in front of everybody. So, and it's the same thing with the focus and where we are with, you know, it's one step at a time. You know, and looking past anybody, we're, we're getting prepared for Georgia, uh, and that's what the focus has been on, uh, just being prepared for, you know, it, it, obviously it's a big rivalry game between both schools, and there's a lot of recruiting, you know, lines that are crossed there. Uh, a lot, a lot of emphasis on this one game, and you know everybody knows what they won the last four. So um, this was a really important game, and I, I think the kids are practicing the right way. You know, people throw that word chemistry out there. It's different for us. It's really like family. I mean, these guys never want to go home. I mean, they're up here all the time, and uh, you know, on their off day, guys, you come through there at any time, and there's six or seven players either watching tape or hanging in your office or, you know, Gus is calling for you and you got five guys that are on different sides of the ball just hanging out together. And they don't pull any punches when it comes to teasing each other, whether it's, you know, Emory Blake with a shirt that's too small or, you know, Corey walking around with some jeans that are high waters. I mean, they pull no punches. I mean, they're on each other all the time just like you would in a family. And uh, I think that's what makes it fun. Um, and they pull no punches on coaches either. They'll let us know if we're not dressed properly. Uh, there's, no, there's no, there's really, for us, there's not a time limit where we say, well, practice is over now, we can be friends. It's, it's family all the time. I've said, I've said all year, I mean, this guy's, he's different. He's, he's the best. He's the best we've played against. Uh, no bones about it. I mean, he's, he's the very best. Not only is he big, tall, and can run, he's very aggressive at the line of scrimmage. He, he competes <coughs> so well for the ball in the air, great hands. Once he catches it, I mean, you don't have to look at many film to find out when he catches it. I mean, he, he's very hard to tackle, and he, he just does everything very well. You know, really good football player. One year when I was at Arizona State, I had Levi Jones, who played left tackle for me, who was the 10th overall pick. And Terrell Suggs was the defensive end that played across from him, who was also a first-round pick and, and led the nation in sacks that year. Uh, but both of those guys got better because they had to go against each other. And so I think there's certainly been some of that with our group having to go against against a guy like Nick. And the thing with Nick is just, you know, he's – He's so big, but kind of like I was saying about the guys from Georgia, you know, he's just athletic, and most guys that big can't change direction and run like he can. So that has been good for us.